Okay, let's talk about uh, the concept of fluids in tubes and see what principle we can use to uh, solve some problems with that. We all know that uh, if you have a tube, like a U-tube, like this, and you could even have a third one, you know, and if you fill some water here, or it could be any liquid, the water gets to the same height in all the tubes. Even if the tubes have a, one of them might have a small, a thinner diameter, the other one might have a, a thicker diameter, the water is gonna uh, go to the same height. Same height here, same height here. Same height here, same height here, same height here. Then what happens is if you put some oil there, right? You can put some mercury there, and you can make a good problem out of that. What's going to be the new heights now? So it adjusts itself. So I want to show a, a, an example on that, uh, one or two examples, and uh, basically show you what idea is are we using. Basically, the idea of that is that the pressure at any height <coughs> needs to equal each other. If this pressure is exerted a certain pressure, this pressure needs to be the same. If they're not the same, the fluid will um, the fluid will readjust itself so that the two pressures are the same. The pressure at any height, here and here, the pressure at here and here and here, the, all the pressure should be the same. So that's the, basically the principle that you have to use to solve these kinds of problems. So let's do example one. So let's just assume they're the same diameter. So let's say you have water here. Okay, let's say somebody uh, pours in some oil over here. And let's say the height of the oil is 12 centimeter, okay? What should happen? Well, this oil is going to want to push the water down, right? The oil is going to go down a little bit. Is this water over here going to go up by 12 centimeters? If you have 12 centimeters of oil, is this water going to go up 12? Probably not, right? Oil is less dense than water. So this, this uh, water level is going to go up a little bit, and that water level is going to go down a little bit. So it's going to reach some kind of uh, equilibrium situation let's make this bigger here twelve centimeter this is oil and then the water here is going to be a little bit higher so something like this Okay, the water here uh, is going to be like that. So find that new height. Okay, so let's say the original height of the water, H uh, uh, original, H initial or H original, let's say it was 15 centimeters on both sides. Okay, what's going to be the H new? Okay, and then what's going to be this one here? So we could call this H1, we could call this H2, right? And then we know that this is 12. So the basic idea here is that, okay, the pressure at any level should be the same. So if I, if I go over here, if I go over here, the pressure here and the pressure there should be the same. If I go over here, the pressure here, the pressure here should be the same, okay? If I go over here, the pressure, the pressure here should be the same as the pressure at the top of the oil. So if I'm, if I'm in the water, at any level, the pressure should be the same. If I'm, if I'm above this water, then the, no longer that holds because the, 
the density of the oil is less. So the pressure, we know the pressure at the top of this water, is pressure atmosphere, and the pressure at the top of this water, uh, the pressure at the top of this oil is pressure atmosphere. These two pressures are equal, but they're not at the same height. So here's what I'll do. I'll go to the top of this water, and I'll say that the pressure there should equal to the pressure here. Okay? Those two pressures need to be the same because this whole thing is water. Right? So what is the pressure on the right side here? Pressure of the right that's equal to the pressure uh, atmospheric plus the density of oil. So let's go to the density table. Uh, roughly it's uh, about 9.91, So let's say it's 0.91, okay? So the density of oil is 0.91 and the density of water is one. And this is in units of gram per cubic centimeter. We're in grams now. So pressure atmosphere plus, so the pressure at the right is the density of the uh, oil, which is uh, 0.92, uh, sorry, 0.91 times 9.8 times the height of the oil, which is 12, <coughs> okay? And again, this is meters, this is, uh, this is centimeters, this is gram per centimeter cube, but all that is going to take care of itself. You know, we don't have to worry about the units on this one. Pressure on the left over here is going to be the pressure of the atmosphere plus the density of water, which is 1, times 9.8, times this height, which we don't know, right? Uh, so let's just say that is, uh, we could call that uh, x here. We could call it anything. So the two pressures need to be equal to each other, okay? So from that, we could calculate what x needs to be. So set the p left equal to the P right. Well, the pressure of the hemisphere cancels again, just like the previous problem that we did for Pascal's uh, principle. The pressure of the atmosphere cancels, and you just have here 0.91. The gravity cancels too. Times 12 must be equal to 1 times x. Okay? So x is equal to 0 0.91 times 12 x is equal to 10.92 centimeter. So the picture looks like this. Ten point nine two centimeter. It's a little bit below where the oil is. So that water goes up ten point nine two centimeter. And this, uh, the oil goes down 10.92, okay? So, um, uh, that means that this water level is 10.92 centimeters higher than the top of the right water level, 10.92. So now, if we wanted to ask what are the new heights of the water? So what is the new height from down here to up there? What is the new height from here to here and here to there? We would have to now make a certain assumption. If the two tubes are the same area, if the same area, then the water that's displaced, a certain amount of water goes down here, a certain amount of water goes up there, a certain volume of water. So the same volume that's displaced there is the same volume that's lost here on the right side. But if the surface area is the same, then that means the same height that's displaced there is the same height here. So delta B left is delta B right. So we could say it's a negative of it. So if a certain amount of volume is lost on the right, then it goes over here, because volume you can't make or create 